Time for some change. You wanted simple for your first job back. Doesn't get simpler. We need to find a person who took that case. Well, first, you know, it, we were right in the that point in the pandemic or the lockdown where where we were all going a bit stir crazy, and this script came along and it just seemed like the perfect kind of salve for that time. It was it was funny. It was irreverent. It had a lot of energy to it, and. Mm -hmm. um, it was with an old friend of mine who was directing, and it, it, and it drew an, an incredible cast because, you know, there were so many great characters in it within the writing. So that was it. It was pretty much a no-brainer. When that came along, it was like, ah, great, great, yeah. great. this is what we need. Really refreshing. For me, right. it was definitely the escape of it all. Like, you know, we couldn't really get on trains. We couldn't drive and go anywhere. We couldn't get on planes and do anything. So it was like, what better way to do that than to go and build a fake train and then go and fight people for you know, a few months. Uh, but it was a release. It truly was cathartic. It really was something that that helped us, I, well, me especially, get through the times. You know, I look forward every day to coming to see these uh, guys and to play and to punch and to slap and to kick. And like, it was really, it was really fun. Yeah, you were about to go postal. I was, I was, I, man, I was, man, I was gonna light everything on fire in LA. I really <laughs> was. And I was like, oh, well, cool. I get to be with Brad and Aaron. So it was, and the script is fantastic. The story was fantastic and fun. And it was something that I knew that I wanted to see. So to be able to be a part of it was, it was absolutely a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Deer Creek International Business Solutions, how can I help you? I am ready. It was, I mean, gosh, taking on this character was so much fun because she's just wild. She's got so many weird moving parts to her. She's so vengeful. She really, really is sitting there and enjoying all the havoc that she's wreaking around her and she's just, just soaking it all in. So playing this character in a movie that's just surrounded by so much fun and funny characters and so much beautiful, cool action going on. It was a real treat to be part of this cast and have a character that I loved as much as Prince. I mean, I got to play a stylish, badass assassin who also happens to be a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of COVID protocol. You know, we're in a tight, confined space. You know, like a little tube train car, and and uh, so there was that 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 we had to get around and the testing. You know, just the 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 hoops we had to jump through to to be able to film a movie during with, with all the COVID protocol because you, you, we couldn't have the movie shut down. We couldn't have you know it just it's too yeah. Uh, there were no expensive. standards at the time of like what to do. Yeah, we were early in. We were yeah, early we, in. Yeah, it was pre-vaccine, so. Yeah. I'd, I'd say oh, the same. Right. We the, were, were yeah. we? It was before I'd say the that. barrier of that was really hard because you've been used to the way of filmmaking is such a a, a family environment, it's such an intimate thing to do. Mm -hmm. So you you build such a and and I think as an actor you feel vulnerable. So you kind of build this character. You know, you need the connection of people, and we weren't allowed to touch. We weren't allowed to hardly see each other, and uh, and you know so so I think what with that kind of cloud above us we wanted to create light and create this sort of and push ourselves and and be bold and kind of bring the humor into this as much as possible for for me the hardest part and brad can you can step in with this but the hardest part for me was being blonde um, <laughs> it was incredibly more difficult than i thought it was and by difficult i mean the easiest thing i've ever done because blonde is just it's just easier just doors just open it's yeah, just right, things right. just happen i couldn't believe how much people wanted to give me when i did this movie as a blonde oh my god no but it is true like i i still don't know what half the crew looked like because it had to be so protected yeah. and shields yeah. and masks and it's a bit of shame because as aaron was pointing out it is a it it is a wonderful family during the shoot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. I had to become uh, immersed and comfortable with a posh British accent, which was uh, very fun. I was excited and nervous about that. Um, I had to kind of really get into the groove of learning how to dismantle a gun and putting it back together. Um, there was a lot of cool elements that came into preparing for Prince, but most of all, just like making myself feel comfortable, really getting to know that character inside and out, and just showing up and having a good time is what was what made Prince what she was. I mean, I, I was able to play around with some of the coolest actors ever and just improvise with them and, and find this character. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, 
okay. We have yep. so many. I think it's one of those rare things where there's there's more than one and, and there's different things. I get to spend most of my time with Brian and we were just, just bouncing off one another and trying to, you know, elevate the material, which was fantastic material. Zach, who wrote the script, did it, you know, gave us so much potential to play with. And then there was the action. I mean, David Leach's stunts and action, and I get the fight with Brad, and you got to fight with Brad, and then we're getting pulled out of the train and hanging on, you know, harnesses and stuff. And it, we're just pushing the boundary uh, uh, of that kind of stunt. I think you say it best with like that kind of Jackie Chan, Buster Keaton-esque kind of comedy yeah. and, and and, and stunts, it's just, it's really refreshing and it was just fun. And it was also fun to figure out different ways to uh, play with the water bottle on this movie. We, <laughs> we, we, I didn't know that you could make a uh, Fiji water bottle another character, but we managed to do that in this sure movie. Did. And if you think that's easy, it's really not. So like, that was, that was fun for me. And I'm, I'm gonna say just the, the humor of it all, cause I, most every day was just kind of a free for all of mm -hmm. like, who's got the best joke? Get it in there, get it in there. Try another one, try another one. And it was just, it just made for really good filming. I'm looking for this case. Evan, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just there. There are so many favorite scenes I have. One of my favorite scenes is a, is a moment in the trailer where we see Brian and Brad uh, fighting in the quiet car. That scene cracks me up so much. It's hysterical. Um, but I love, for me personally, with my character, um, I just loved any scene where we could just really feel her enjoying all the chaos around her, uh, which was most of my scenes, so. Hi, there's a gun on you. it's the quiet car. Can't use your small inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. Uh, I was just excited and felt a little like, wow, I can't believe I get to do this. So I felt a little bit like a fish out of water. Like, wow, I, am I really about to go make this movie with David Leach and Brad Pitt and shoot in Los Angeles during a pandemic, all these crazy things. Um, but that was all put to rest when I got there and everyone was just so friendly, so welcoming and so warm and really made me feel like I belonged. Sorry, buddy. Come on. 